The Party Poker Premier League returns for Season 7. The cities of London, Las Vegas and Vienna have witnessed the drama and excitement of this special event and now it's Montreal's turn to roll out the red carpet and welcome the Premier League to town. Welcome to Montreal, Canada for the Party Poker Premier League. Season 7 is being staged at the Playground Poker Club and it features another all-star cast, betting and bluffing for their chance to take a seat at the coveted final table. Points will get them there and tonight we find out who will be taking the maximum from Heat 1. Here's what happened so far with Jesse May. Eight players took their seats for Heat 1 of the Premier League at Montreal's Playground Poker Club. Scott Siever was the first casualty, the season five champion eliminated with the bagel at zero points. Next, Brian Rast looked to double up. I love my Rasty, but I have to bust you, Rast and I'm to double up this time, kid. If you don't flop it, it's done. But his good friend Antonio did flop it, and Rast said his goodbyes. Just ship the sherbet, you know? Jason Kuhn played perfectly, but was cold decked. I'm so good at poker. Not once, cool. but twice. It's like unreal. How do I get out of this place? Quickly followed by early leader Esfan Diari. Good luck, boys and girls. Out in fifth place. I lost a bunch of hands that I was all in, and that's just how it goes. So with just four players remaining, it's the hyper turbo wizard Dan Coleman who leads the way with over one million in chips. Jungleman, Jeff Gross, and Sorel Mizzy with work to do if they're to challenge for maximum points. I'm joined by Phil Locke in commentary for the remainder of Heat 1. And for the remaining players, there is a minimum of 7 points and a maximum of 14 available as these four look to get off to the best possible start for Season 7. Call. Well, we're not yet at a spot where we're liable to start seeing flops, but we'll get there, obviously. Two quick knockouts. Let's say if someone doubles up at this stage, we could get a little bit of play out of this. This is pretty, what you would say, classic uh, poker theory he just, he as for big stack on the big play. Blind. He flat on the big blind. And I don't think he's going to fold. He has he's position seven, and he has a hand 70, total. He might have flatted just so he could call. 10% of his stack. You, you do have to say that one thing about Coleman oh, is he yeah. understands how to play a big stack in a hyper turbo yep. tournament. Yep. I mean, he's just going animal there. <laughs> yep. Gotta use all the options. Gotta find a way to see flops. Yep. And, look the, at right, look at that. and sure. the jungleman did. He yeah. found a way. He found a way to see the flop. Seat seven he, he had the defense against the three bet straight seat off. Five he, he, he limped right from the button. I'm gonna try it out. For one. It's working. One thing. Oh wow. I don't think uh, Jungle can do anything but love his hand now. He's just picked up, I mean, effectively a monster. Check. Coleman's checked no. twice. This has really been interesting. It is, oh, wow. It is an interesting one. Like, right he's now. not going to get it's any so action, but like and yeah. stuff, so like it's just the power of knowing where you're at. He knew he might be winning with eight, but, uh, and then on the turn, he's like, oh, my it does it mentally, right? Like yeah. if you're going he's to hoping that it's... Seat seven bet, 115,000. Like no, zero points, no like I know what I'm going to do, like, so yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know what you have. And Coleman. I'm not playing a heads up for you. You won't be happy Hopefully to see get my to play hand, hand, hand so far. What was it? He's a specialist. I had a good hand. He I is a specialist. 
And, uh, and every is that what Mizzy just whispered? Yeah. Specialist, meaning Mizzy knows what's going on. Mizzy's played a million hands. But the thing is, the hands that <laughs> Coleman <laughs> has, yeah, has yeah, been yeah, in this yeah, format the most, they all went, gosh, this, multi-table, that, this guy's That's just the been playing these. Eight-handed sit and goes, nine-handed, so six-handed sit and goes, right? heads up, okay, oh, next one, boom, boom. The biggest jump is from first to second. They really want to make it as, 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 uh... Yeah, first would be like a lot more than second, right? Yeah, that's what normally tournaments are like. They don't want to make it like the flat uh, structure of the point accumulation. Yeah, you know, this is this is the first time that C2 Premier League has featured a flatter point structure. Total. Of course, prior to this, it had always been 16 points for oh. first place and 11 points for second. It's funny going in the final heat. If you know like the point situation, you can really like spike call someone. Like it it has been changed this season yeah, to yeah. sort of uh, put, the, put the premium on survival yeah, yeah. rather than just the outright win. C2 um, I don't know. What, do you, what effect do you think it's going to have on everything? Is it going to be positive or negative as far as skill goes? Or is it to be determined? We're seeing a lot of skill anyway. I mean, the, the, the points thing is somewhat an afterthought. A lot of real poker happens and then a little C5 bit of the point. We're going to see more of that point adjustment play stuff later, you know. That's I mean, a little bit of a point thing, you know. It's a call. survival game, really, an extreme survival game. And, yeah, I mean, the Premier League forces you to play tactics, doesn't it? Just. So Gross basically hit the world on the turn, and I'm, I think he would be better served by checking it to somebody so aggressive. Actually, no, maybe not. The thing is, Jungle likes to bet, or he has been showing that he likes to bet when he has draws and without having the hand and stuff. So you're more likely to get a bet from Jungle. Uh, I think this might C2 be check. a good play, actually. Wow. Because Jungle, historically, he'll fight. See, this is what he does. <laughs> Jungle fires when he doesn't have hands. I mean, I shouldn't be telling his secrets to the world. He's going to adjust. Yeah, but Gross he's figured it out. Jungle might just empty Jungle the barrel. He thinking, could empty yeah. the clip. He could. He could clip, it, clip, clip empty it. And it's thematic with the way he's been playing. When he, If he had 95. a set of eights. C5 bet 95,000. I mean, he would check if he had a set of eights, right? Remember? Whenever he had sets, he was checking. Whenever he has these <laughs> weird hands, he's jamming. Do you know the jungle's eye roll? Now I think, he is, that, I he think it's time for Jay. He is going to curse yeah. loudly. And now, of course, I think JG, the cat's out of the bag. I think you don't call here. I, I, I think that's in case your opponent has some kind of, you know, flush draw or straight draw or whatever. You just, you put it in now. Now the jig is up. Right? Am I, I mean, you're going to. Yeah, I'm just, if I'm, a, if I'm a, prepared for the jungleman blow up because it's, <laughs> it's, it's half involuntary. And it's, <laughs> it really it's is. It's 100% coming. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be of the four-letter variety as well. <laughs> I mean, JG, he, he just doesn't have enough chips to flat here and try and get, you know, he has to just, he knows he's winning. All in. He's just hoping he gets C2 called. C2 re-raise all in. <sighs> Poor jungle. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying so stupid, too. Four. Oh, wow. Oh, he got a lot. He's just too honest, isn't he? Is, he? He, just, he, is. all, <laughs> he wears his heart on his sleeve, does the jungle, and, and uh, he does not like losing hands. Okay. He does not like it. Uh, here. All right. okay. And look at Jeff Gross. Up in the second so position. Five, what a ride he's had at this, uh, in this uh, heat like so close far. To of course, he had a really? great start, and then he really, with six players left, he looked dead and buried. Doesn't hurt. Fold. And in case he has like a seat five raise, forty thousand. Fold. I don't see Mizzy folding this. Computer hand plus a little because it's suited. You don't see him folding, but do you see him three betting this? The only three bet he's, no, the only three bet he's got is an all in. He's just going to defend, look at the flop. I mean, he's getting great odds, you know, and it's a real hand. Drama man out there with. Him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> C5 
seat one check. check. Go on, Jungle. Let's see way, the clip. Every the clip. All day today, we've been thematically what Jungle does on these flops is bet when he has a 10 6 on a queen, queen, king board. He, if we were going to go by his pass, we would say he's 87. Seat five check. Oh, he's checking. Right? Oh. He's, he's, he's decided giving himself to, a chance to stay in this thing. Oh, look at that, a flush draw to boot. For, and now he actually might check for value because, I don't know, it's kind of funny. I mean, Jungle Jungleman's feels like he might have showed showdown. Up. He feels like he might have caught up if he's against like an ace seven, he's caught up. If he's against a pair of sevens, he's caught up. Well, Sorrel could never have an ace here. Wouldn't he have just jammed it with an ace? Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Sorrel should just go for another check. Down. You're playing the most, as far as not having hands and betting, Daniel is shown to be the most aggressive perpetrator of that. I mean, I wonder if Jungleman has, has actually made quite a clever check on the on the flop there, saying to himself, well, Keep on bet 60, Sorrel usually has something like oh, we just that, that the queen and the king really smashes his yeah, range there. Yeah. He didn't even like the 10. He was just like, I'm beat. Also remember, Cates is in a little bit of stack preservation mode. He's now finding himself on the short stack. He wants his raises to just get folds, get the money, move yeah, on. He doesn't really want to play yeah, 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 six no, Especially when there's eight people here. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm awful. trying to get the 42 nice Cates sitting out there. Nice table, it's just, yeah, yeah. He was supposed to die, like, what, six or something? What, 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 yeah, when he had the jacks versus, I mean, it's nuts. Oh. He's had an amazing run. A, a seed little, seven raise forty thousand. A little bit. Well, don't don't okay. you think he knows he's just going to get folds from Jeff Gross all day? So if he gets by Sorrell, he's he's kind of in good shape. I, I wonder how automatic this is for Sorrell. Is it automatic completely? Uh. Seat one raise all in. This is just, you know, Fold. falling too. Folds. Mm -hmm. How much does Mizzy have? Mizzy has 376. So that's around 18 big blinds or something. Now he's up to 22 big blinds. Mm -hmm. Is it 1530 after this? Probably. Yeah. Based so. on. But I think that what Je Jeff is kind of doing... They're not wasting the time. It, it's, it's sort of working as odd yeah. as it is. Such it's tight play. It's kind of... No, no, no. Like I mean, it's, it's as an overall game yeah. plan. Yeah. Yeah, but then he, 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 he jammed with the queen four and got lucky. Yes. Overall, I think Six, playing tight's right, but not as tight as Jeff Gross. And Fold. not as loose as Coleman. I think Coleman has done too many sick... Although, he's got all the chips. Mizzy loves his hand. Now, I think... Going all in, I would I would raise to try and get somebody to shove over him. It's just if somebody's got a clean awesome. jack or whatever, yeah, he's, he wants action here. Probably make C1 it like raise forty thousand minimum raise. There's a, plenty of spots for people to jam, and he'll snap. Fold. Call. <laughs> Jungle loves Jungle's got he's got like four big blinds, but he's still not going to give well, up his got, staunch he's defense. He's got like eleven or twelve, <laughs> but. It's thematically, it's four, you know? <laughs> it's a better story when it's four. Yeah. Five, ten. <laughs> hmm. That's what the six high can yield sometimes, is the ace, nine, three board. Yeah, every once in a while, you're going to miss the flop with that. Man. Look at that. Bad form on J Jungle's part. Sorrel was preparing to collect chips for a bet. Who knows if he was going to fall through. And jungle folded, folded once he started touching his chips. That's a, that's something Mizzy might just have junk and go for his chips and see what happens. You, you definitely got to hold the fort to the, till the bet is official. I think. I think he needs a broccoli booster. Well, Kate's had that seven. Look at he's angry right now. He's, he's trying to bluff him. His high was seven sixty four, you know, and his low is not seven sixty four. His low is right now two oh six, and he's not feeling good about it. The first time Seven Jungleman plays in Premier League in uh, season uh, five with Seaver, uh, they, they were very early on saying that they had heard that it was easy to put the Jungleman on tilt. And I think they did several times. And, uh, yep. you know, that is sort of his reputation, that he's tiltable.
And I'm not sure what quality of decision this is for Sorel Mizzy here. Um, obviously, with, with Jungle Man being so low, he's... He's having a think, and I, I guess the question is, what is his intentions if he gets shoved on here? Has he three bet to pass? Oh wow! Well, well Gross, I think Gross is going to fold. It's interesting. Did, it went raise, re-raise. Now that's a much easier fold than if it just went raise. But even though you know Coleman's super active, Mizzy, you know, I, I like the fold here. Actually, I know I'm playing pretty tight, but. I mean, by the way, if Coleman had folded, which a lot of people do with the nine high, Mizzy would have raised. Gross, I think, easily is going to re-raise that. Fold. I don't mind this play. How much do you have, Bob? And what do you think Mizzy's intentions are here? He's well. His stack is started with 478, which is around 24 big blinds. I uh, put in 90. Uh, I think he might fold to a rejam, but he does, he figures he's just gonna. He, he's it. he's trying to sort of preserve the appearance that he's got a super strong hand that he's trying to induce, right? Yeah. Fold probably call, but that wouldn't be fun. Huh. Let's yeah, see. Like the Mizzy has the feel of this the most. Yeah, I think. Yeah, him and Kamal really, really like came up with a really clever uh, uh, antidote for so all the sickness. Yeah. Yeah. This is all two point jumps until second and third. Two point jumps. Really, there's just so many like. <laughs> it's just so yeah. spiky and uh, well, crazy four handed because so many more hands are playable and defendable and re-raisable. There's two separate conversations have broken out here. The online wizards having carrying on one conversation and the. Live tournament players having another. So these kind of hands, these are so strong for that you don't, you want them in. You want to raise like min raise or two and a half X. C1 raise, 40,000. Well, it's Jungleman's big blind, so you know you're getting action. Yeah, and this is the kind of hand you want Fold. a wide, you want wide ranges to be in there. With. Oh, this Jungle is, does not like, like to fold. I mean, this is a great hand for Queen. Look at the queen on the board, wow. <laughs> How much do you have? C5 call. Besides Phil Helmet, is there a person in poker that wouldn't have just jammed there? I you have to raise the end of the And this is the worst thing that can happen when you're overcoated. You hit your card. They're both going to try and get their money, of course. I mean, yeah, when you have 11 like big blinds and you're on the big blind with Queen Seven, one bet, 40, the C better pops out with the dudes. And I think you got to just go all in. Call 40,000. All in. Looking like I curtains for the jungleman. I would go all in in case my opponent had ace jack. I don't want to give him the ace for free. If he's beating me anyways, it's all going in. You know what I'm saying? If Suit five check. My opponent has the queen king. It's all going in. But if he has ace jack, you'd be giving him a free card. Could this free? Could, could this be a check? I mean, Mizzy has to love his hand, right? I mean, there's. He knows that jungle could have five three. <laughs> Whatever. I don't. I don't think it's. I think it's all just semantics. Uh, I mean, semantics. is the money going to get in with it's the left going, hand or the right hand? Right. I don't on the think turn of the river, it's all going in. The call. pot's 182. C2 and raise all in. C5 call. What the jungle? Insane. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> and then I get cooler. That's like a ridiculous cooler. So I'm just here like, oh, I finally actually have something. I would, if I had a pair of race, I just, I, I don't fold. You still have outs. Uh, Who had a 10? Still have outs. Anyone have any of our cards? I think Jason Kuhn is probably though. saying, in the art of ridiculousness, you know, there is There's the 10! Wow. Oh, oh my God. lord, the jungle so did the, the jungle way to the style. Wow, he mowed it in. Poker gods. Look down upon he me. his way to the win. And they gave me a 10. Oh my, wow. That was, uh... Oh my lord. That's pretty sick. I had a bad feeling when he started complaining. <laughs> You do look like you're having fun at the table. <laughs> tell, tell me about that. Oh, uh, well, you know, I like pot odds, and when the odds are good, I like, and I like, I like pot odds and flops. I don't like folding and all ends pre. That doesn't sound like much fun to me, so, <laughs> you know, play some pots, and uh, certainly when I'm getting good prices, even if it seems a little unusual. Four, yeah, 12, 24, 14. So let's see, who's under the gun on this one? That was gross, 6-2, junk, okay. 
folk. Oh, I love these. These are these fun. are fun. These are fun. No matter what you have, you, it's like pretty. Wow. It's really, really a good one. Yeah, yeah, sir, you better hope he doesn't have an ace here. You better hope he doesn't have an ace here. Well, you know. Carry a spot. But the Miz is gonna go home tonight. and know he played great, no matter what. That's all that matters, right? True. Gigi does have 48. Everyone always forgets that he had the king four to the ace three. You know, like seven points is nice. No matter what. Oh, poor Miz. This is a top, 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 super top of his range hand. He wants to get it all in. You're all in. And that's the way to get it all in. Keep one raise all in. Whenever they ask, are you all in, you should be like, no. Because <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yeah, I got like queens, yeah, yeah. kings, oh like, yeah. It's so true, though. Whenever they say it, yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. man, I, I, said no, I, I didn't say that. It's actually a sick fooler than mine. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they're just kidding. <laughs> no. Super sick, says Sorrell. I Sorrell's deserve this one. Skill. That's so true, though, come to think of it. Every time somebody asks that, they always have, like, a monster. Yeah, the big spots in my life I can remember when they do that, I'm just like, always. I deserve this. Right, Jeff? Miz, no deserves a poker, you know and that's the wrong thing. I feel like I deserve it. I feel like you're a good guy, no matter curve, what. I think, I think this is going to be a fun game. It's going to be like a 6-7-5. Like, there'll be some action here. This isn't just going to be JG's over. JG's got the, the banter up there. It's going to be close now. It's going to be like the one with Kuhn and you. It's going to be like some straight draw. Such a big hand, too. That's not fun. That's not that fun. Jack's not far off from Down to his 9%. No runner runners, he just needs to bank it. Two outs. That's not fun either. Jeff, you lied to me. Busy, I don't know. I didn't mean that. You lied to me, bro. <laughs> no free lunch if you're Sorrell Busy. Seven wow. points and busy. back for eight number two. Nice complain before Six, the card comes yeah, out. It, it works every time. Good luck, sir. Look at that. JG's little strategy paying off. Fold every and hand even three. when you're not supposed to fold and just get in the top three. Reflect back on this, your first heat here in the Premier League. Well, you know, it was a really tough heat, and um, I, I think I played pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, I mean, it was, it, I just played the best I could, and, you know, that's all I could do. I mean, it was, it was fun. I had a great time. And then as soon as Jungle Man said, you know, started complaining about the hand and the cooler, <laughs> like a sick feeling just rushed through my body, and I just, like, had a bad feeling about this, and then boop. The 10 and then I got you know I got coolered from small blind versus big one so but it was fun and uh, you know there's a lot of play left mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not too worried at this point. Sorrell Mizzy opens his Premier League campaign with an above average start of seven points. Dan Coleman extends his chip lead to over 1.4 million leaving Gross and Jungleman to battle it out for what looks like second spot. The remaining action from Heat 1 continues after the break. Why would I do that? I put on his poker. I got the run hot shoes on, you know? Oh my god, no. Poker is the greatest game in the world, man. You're not gonna miss with a G. Here it comes, Ron, the pizza <laughs> delivery man. I get another glass of wine, is there another? One more glass of red wine. Tony G, I mean, the only reason you're invited to the league, to be honest, is your personality. What list are you on in the top 500 in the world? You're good at telling people to ride bikes. Get on your bike. Miley, let's get a ruling. What's going on here, Mike? A head fist. A head poker. <laughs> all right, all right. You take a jack. Here we go. Don't do it. Am I getting out of line? Five Give me a warning. And it's over, baby. This Premier League has been all about J.C. Tran. He's led it from start to finish. Congratulations, J.C. Here are our three remaining contenders no, 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 no. in this first heat. Dan Coleman, of course, in the lead, Phil, and uh, well, Jeff Gross and Jungleman as well. And you know, a lot of discussion about Jeff Gross's strategy uh, here. I'll tell you one yeah, interesting thing. Right? Do you know yeah, one person yeah. who utilized a very similar strategy in the nothing, last bro. season oh, of the small. Premier League? Who's what? Dan Shap? That's my boy. He ended up champion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. 24,000. You know, I mean, Jeff Gross is probably just going to capitalize on this. So. You know, he, he might be the stage if he can oh. get top two here, those 11 points, where he'll say to himself, I can nearly just almost fold my way with the dynamics and everything. To Which the final he would table. love to hear. He would love to see the math on that, you know? <laughs> to be told that just actually just folding your way to the final table is correct. And uh, I wonder how far off it's going to be. On the button, we have full eight deuce jump raise. I mean, isn't this stack big enough? You can start looking at flops. You kind of, I, I just don't fold this. I don't raise necessarily, but I definitely look at the flop. 
It's three-handed. He probably said I'm going to play tight till it's three-handed. You know what I'm saying? I think he's playing this hand. I wonder. I mean, if you're Jeff Gross, don't you look over at Daniel Cates and say, well, he's going to blow up pretty soon. <laughs> Get a little more points. Call. Heads up. Jeff Gross has said, now I'm in the top three. Let's go. Check out that. Yeah, he hasn't been doing this before. Now he's doing it. Check. Check. Now, the reason why Coleman's checking there is because these Check kind of cards, nine through queen, king, these are the kind of things when people call you, they have in, that, in their range anyways. So he was really looking for either an ace or Check. lower cards, I, I think. What's that? Flop comes rich with the middle cards, middle high Broadway ish cards. Those are the kind of cards people are calling with. 70, but he 000. said, Well, you never bet. Let's see if I can't. Now he's got a pair of straight draw, gutter ball straight draw. Right, and this this story doesn't make a ton of sense, does it? Because what hand would he have checked back on the flop where the turn helps, where the 10 helps him on the turn? 70,000. Right. I don't, I don't, I, I just don't see anything else except calling here. It's, you're really only sweating the queen. To, you're against, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If you're calling with the 10-8 pre-flop and you get this run out and you're here, you call. That's what you do. It's not like rocket science. You might not like it, but you still have to do it. You know? It, it's really hard to make a case for folding, isn't it? It's very hard. It, this is why you, you play to connect. He's connected. He has something. Now... What is, I mean, is he thinking about turning? A, is he, is yeah, he I mean, thinking could, maybe? My, could he I, I be can, thinking about shoving? Yeah, you? that's what I'm thinking. If he, wow, what if my opponent has queen four, like queen five or what Hold is that? What is that? What is? I, <laughs> what is that? I don't even get that. I don't even know why he come to the. What, is, <laughs> what does he expect the 10, 10, 8 flop to come? I mean, I have to, I have to, I have to say that's bad poker right there. Wow, his gum, game is, his gum his game is his gum game is gum game is weak. His it's ten eight of spades hand is bad. It's gotten worse. I'm just disappointed with that. That's there's no reason to believe that you were beat anyways. I don't know, but I thought okay, he's three handed now. Now he sees he's gonna get in there and whatever. I don't know what I don't know what he was doing there. Gross, third place, but not that far behind Cates. They're basically tight. both playing for. Twenty four thousand. It'll be interesting if Cates and Gross get into the. Uh, you know, all in. Then we'll have a kind of a fair fight, though. If Coleman oh. felt one of these guys, or it's going to be like 1.8 to 400 or something. It'll be tough for the other guy. Oh, option. The jungleman's. He's. Uh, Gross. Do not fold. Don't fold. No, no, no. Put it's, your it's money. A, it's, in. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a limp. It's a limp and a call. So it's actually, it's actually checking option here. Oh, right. To limp up. But I mean, this would be, I believe, hopeless poker to do anything but bet. Check. What? I don't understand this. There's dead money out there. It's wow. 84,000 out there. I don't Capture think, that I don't money. Think he can check that. I don't no think that. Healthy, I think right? that's really Reserve? just poor. That's just poor. Right that's just bad. Family pot. It's bad. Now, now Check. you don't even know what's going on. Check. Somebody might win this that doesn't have a queen. Maybe Coleman wins it. Coleman loves bluffing. Do you think Jeff's just kind of lost his way a little bit? He's been going. I don't, know. I don't think he's a fan of math. I, I, I think he's not a fan that of the math, because any math guy is going to tell you, wow, oh. look at this, I have a monster that's vulnerable, I want this hand heads up, I want to get it in, and I want to be a heads up, and I want it, let's do it. You're supposed to do the something with that two eights. I will say one thing, Phil, uh, this strategy the jungleman's employing here, limping now every oh. button three-handed, it's, uh, it's something that no one ever used to do, and you know who made it popular, heads I think, up. is uh, Greg Merson. Uh, at the Check final that. table of the, the World Series last year. He did a lot of that, He huh? did a lot of it. And uh, he, he actually really put everybody off balance. No one really knew how to deal with it. Check. If Jungle hits an eight, which would just be very unlikely, but Check on that. if he had hit the case eight, he would have loved that hand and been unhappy with the result. He's just, he's just completely lost Jeff Gross. He's, he's I mean, well, Jeff himself is in a spot where he might check, actually. Check. Jeff is checking just to get to the river, and he, he wins the pot. But very not. <laughs> no one can believe he's Jungleman's that strong. Jungleman's eyebrows what? went up about eight yeah. inches. <laughs> Holy. Good. <laughs> For what it's worth, he won a little bit more than I would have won in that yeah, pot. But I don't think it's the right play with the eights. Gotta to keep you guessing over there a little. You gotta 
play a little tricky yourself, apparently. One of those tricksters. I mean, it's unconventional button limp, too. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you got. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> I just like to see a flop. Yeah, me too. That's why I didn't raise. You raise pretty. He's gonna call for sure. Then he might call, you know? Blind, big blind. It's hard to make a pair, you know, three-handed. Uh, I'm willing to go with that, but it's just a weird button lip. I'll see a flop. I don't mind. I like to check that. <laughs> yeah. They're all just giving the post-hand BS. Dan Coleman, of course, way in Raised the lead. Raised to 48,000. Very strong hand on the button. A super monster Sorry. in the small Very blind. Good. The folding days are over. I mean, even JG's not folding this hand. No matter how tight you are, this is what you're waiting for, three-handed. This is super top of your range. You're crushing the other guy's range. I mean, it's a flip, but... Is it... Just now, 20 big blinds, is it too much to shove here, though? I think, Should he pull I out think, a Sorel Mizzy, just sort of... All in? I think all in shoving is the, shoving's the right play. Cold? How much is and it? I think this is a call, actually. That. It's like he's sick, but he has to call. It's about, uh, I think around five, four-something. Although, if there's one guy you could fold to, really it would be sure. JG. He hasn't really been... He's, he's, he has a hand, you know? It's right. not like right, uh, yeah, he's call. two. Call. He has Nine? Nine? Yeah, two no. right. You got it's me, the man. He can't go against the man. Yeah, got he's me. like, whatever. Oh, wow. Got the wow. sixes. Yeah. I look like a guy beaten by sixes <laughs> in Montreal. I'm, man. Yeah, Jack Gross is delighted. Wow. He's well, feeling, he, he, he feels like he feels like pre, you know? is his. And, 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 yeah. and he feels it. And and you know, I think you got this. I kind of think he's you think right. I got this one? I think you got this. I got the run hot shoes on, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The run those. hot shoes on. He's, he's, he's at least 64% right now, Jack yeah. He doesn't even have to stand up. I don't even want to flop the Broadway. You know, I want I want a little sweat, but I don't want to see us. Like, let's just do something a little entertaining. I think he's right. I don't think he has to. I want like six, six, I want like I six, four, four, man. How about nine, ten, three? That's a little something. I don't like sweats. I don't, I don't think Jeff Gross needs to no, hit this flop. I think he's, he's going to get it either I still way. I would like a sweat. Yeah. JG can't miss one. Do I have a... You got me. Hit. JG, got me, bad Jeff. gum game. <laughs> Not yet. Too tight a poker player. I saw the for Queen of Spades. Game, that, thought, that was a good he's card. He's just doing it, you know. Yeah. He's, he's showing that this. you can fold everything and win. That was 50-50, but it was like, a six or seven. I know. Dude, I didn't like it. I got the first view. Two pair, no That's problem. It. My my name is PBF. I got it. I got it. Don't worry okay. about it. Double me up. I got the run hot shoes. Now I gotta show you guys how to really play 18 big blinds. <laughs> Jungleman sitting that one out, but back in the last edition of the league, Phil Helmuth must have wished he had done the same in a very tightly contested league match. Essentially, it has never been this close so late in the Premier League. A Duha Mel there, 31 points. He's the only player guaranteed. And Rettenmeyer, of course, short stacked and low pointed has the most to do. But for everyone else, Anything is possible. That's what makes the strategy so elusive. Helmuth here with the raise to eight and the three bet from Jungleman. All right, Jungleman, I call you. I mean, I, most people. I need the six and a three that last time. In Jungleman's spot would be clamping down with the chip stack. But this is the jungle. And welcome to it. 51. Bet out and a quick check raise from Phil. Look at this. This call is based on something called, I don't know. What is it called? Well, it's called I cover you. I think that's exactly what it's oh, based right. on. I have more chips than you do. <laughs> that call just means you have a four or a jag beat, right? This is uh, so absolutely sick. And I really think Helmut will have to fall to any kind of raise. But, oh, it's just like there it is, the raise. Jungle is my favorite. I think Helmut oh, has to fold so this sick. every day of the week. I hate poker sometimes. I love poker. How much? I, love poker. I, love poker. I hate oh. poker sometimes, he says. But this is Helmut's style. He does like to get people to put their money in wrong. Well, a lot of it has to do with not just, you know, no one can call. It's a thing the mass says you just can't call. All right. Oh my god, he is a champion, and that's why right, that's how he does it. He just gives up when he has a hand, and then he lets them hang themselves into him. Oh, this is brilliant. Phil Helmuth is a god. You know, you a might be right. God. You oh know, you god, might be right. And it's 
He doesn't know that jungleman has. Oh my god! He just and he's gonna value bet this to the sky. I think he's he going just all got in. there, and I didn't even see that he had a gutter ball. By the way, till right now, I swear to God, I didn't see that he had a gutter ball. I thought he just had the flush draw. This is absolutely the most insane thing ever. And knowing tendencies, this is sick. I think. Wow. I can come with. He's gonna have to he go to into call. the he tank. He called the turn. He call here. Don't I don't think he should have done that. Don't forget. If Helmuth folds here, or if he folded on the turn, he's still in second position out of eight. It's a very strong place to be right now. Yep. Got anything, Jungle Man? Uh oh, look, Jungle should never talk. respond. He is not gonna talk. Jungles. Oh, he almost smiled, but he didn't. He's gonna hold him. If Jungle breaks, it'll be a disaster. Don't forget, Helmuth is the best reader in the history of the game. The best. This would be reading the math. This is just. Three. He called! He called! The best reader in the history of the game oh paid off God. the jungle man! And now look at the jungle! Look at Phil. He's got fun in games. I like your call. Yeah. It's a good call. got a four, and I think it's brilliant. You knew he was bluffing on the sun. Everybody knew he was bluffing on the sun. I, I knew he was going to try to give me all the money, too, which is so sick. I like your call. I ran it. Thanks, guys. Wow. Tried to bluff off all his money. He had he had he had the Premier League locked up, and he decided to bluff it all off. After the break, we get back to the action from Premier League Seven. Jungleman in the thick of it, along with Coleman and Gross. We are back with the Premier League, and Jeff Gross is the chip leader in this opening heat. Just clear of Dan Coleman, Jungleman way back with 446,000. Cates is a veteran of the league, but raised more than a few eyebrows with his performance in Vienna in season five. Here's a look back at a crucial hand from that final league match. So if Jungleman Cates gets first or second, he automatically goes through to the final. Same thing with Tom Dwan, automatically through to the final. Vanessa must win and prevent Dwan from coming in second. She must knock him out next. Moment. My win. Oh, look at this. The perfect scenario for Vanessa. This one's on the site. Where Dwan could be knocked down to third place very simply here. He's got ace queen. Jungle Man's got ace king. I think he's out. You think he's it's not out because play? he's got the Jungle Man covered, but uh, not by I'm much. Just a few thousand. Win, lose, or draw. The table is set for Vanessa to possibly get through. If the ace king holds up here, it's got nine, five, five three. So, so far, so good for the jungle man. As long as the chop doesn't come on board, I'll, t I'll tell you. Well, I, th I think you should just wait till the till it's over anyway, because you don't know what can happen. Like you could run it up, and then or okay. whatever. I mean, if you want to say it, just say. Amazing, Tom seems to think that jungle man has made a bad call even though he has the ace king he seems convinced that jungle man's made a bad strategy decision but the fact of the matter is i disagree jungle man needs the first or second to go through automatically himself the board pairs he'll split the pot it's a deuce nice so what is it? well duan thinks he's out he is not he out he well, still has I mean, some chips if you think left. it's if you think it's okay it just depends he how much started that pot with more chips than the jungle man so he's not out but he is deflated yeah. and in bad shape Maybe he thinks he's just supposed to sit back because he knows that Vanessa has to clash with Dwan right. under any circumstance, so why would he get involved? And in all the circumstances where Vanessa and Dwan clash, Jungle Man goes to the final table. Correct. Uh, that, that would make a little bit of sense. That does make a lot of sense. Well, Dwan understands I can see it. that Vanessa and him have to play pots, Yeah. so Jungle Man could just sit back and just let them clash, they have to clash. It makes perfect sense. Um, and uh, it just shows you, he just couldn't lay the ace king down. It's amazing, we, we didn't see it, Jungle Man didn't see it, but Tom saw it as clear as day. What are you doing? It's your big one. And, uh, Chuck. and Ch Chuckle spit lost. I think it's just, he's just clocked onto it too. And, it was pretty much professional courtesy there that Tom didn't say anything to Jungle Man when the King Queen happened, but I guess he was hoping that Jungle would think about it. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Um, 30. Especially uh, with Dwan now knowing that he almost, the best case scenario for him right now is that he's gonna have to play a heads up match to get to the final. 
for a guy that was thinking so far ahead in this match, tactics-wise, strategy-wise, Tom Dwan could be eliminated out of the Premier League. And it would be a shame, honestly, in my opinion, to see that happen because his thought process was just to us. absolutely That's brilliant. Yes. Except for one tragic error I thought he made with the 210. Uh, she she couldn't bust you. She couldn't bust you. If you shove the, the button, I literally could not call she it aces. She can't call aces. I can't call aces. So you should fold ace king. You're 100% you're to get in the final because right. we're going to bust each other. And oh. like, you're 100% to get in. It's a sick parlay for Vanessa to get in. I literally can't call aces. And instead you're aces. calling ace king. You're where like, my yeah. range is super sick tight there. I literally can't call aces. That's so sick. But hey, now please win so I can get in. I'm Sorry, Vanessa. Say good luck, Vanessa. <laughs> no, there's no justice. That's unbelievable. When he folded his first button, I was just like, I win. I win the draw. That was Please. back in Vienna uh, in the, the fifth time, edition. Has the Jungle Jungle is fighting like hard to stay enough. in touch in and this. And the, uh, the other guy, Galen, are struggling the, the entire time. And then, um, Raise it up, then like, somehow he loses too. like almost all of his stack. And then, and then he gets down to like three big blinds, like 7K at, 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 at uh, 48,000 or something. Huh? This was after he had a huge ship lead. Yeah, Forty? I'm all in. He's all in? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, he says, this is where I play different from everybody oh. else. Can I get a so he, so, he, so he always wants to and lose all his chips to get down to that point. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, and, and I'm just sitting there thinking, what, what could he possibly do? That's With hilarious. like three big blinds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then like the next hand, I fold my button because I'm the, sh the second shortest stack yeah. to Galen. He has got a massive chip lead, so I'm yeah. like, I hope he busts. What's his face? Uh, Bill. Huh? And then uh, he limps the button. He limps the small blind. Disinterested and then Galen checks back. The flop he is he King Jack he nine. Yeah. He really just he doesn't. Bets. He bets. Just doesn't care. He really does live in the moment. Almost to an extreme. That's what he plays better than everyone. Apparently. And then Galen shows Queen for offsuit. I swear to God. <laughs> That's funny. This is Gail Hall, yeah? Yeah. That's so hilarious. What tournament is this in? Uh, Venice High Roller, which so obviously didn't hit many people. 443,000 yeah. total? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I, I lost it after I saw that, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really Gentleman losing it based completely off what he said disinterested that hand. In <laughs> And then after that hand happened, I read it. He forgets he went all in. He does. He really just doesn't. He just doesn't care. He really does live in the moment, almost yeah. to an extreme. And it's so sick, and you're going to shove. I know I have the best hand, and I'm going to, now I'm not sure what I'm going to do. He was so much more interested in telling that story. Uh, oh he, this wow, he's doing the right thing. That's it's crazy. Wow, fall. that's great. No, he's, he's yeah. manned up when he's it was. Manned up. He manned up when it's time to man up. He hated doing it, What's but that? he did it. You going to fold that? Yeah. I, mean, I know, I, like I said, I thought I had the best hand, but like it's. Huh? Not only, not only did he man up that call, and I, I talked myself in. He could have had the ace. Race. The weak this ace. This one I'm not so, so sure. It, I need some horses that I just want to show. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. That's why I, I, I think I had to call. But King Queen. You got a nice hand. I like your hand. I don't know. I don't get uh, this this is I would love to say that I feel like he's going to win, but sometimes I don't have the feeling. I feel like King Queen, look, even though it's weaker hand. There's an the algorithm here in the all-ins. You'll see. It's definitely not going to be any spades on the flop. This is a tough. This you is tough for a, both you, players. No one wants to. No. Whoa. Yeah, this is running pretty good, too. You are yeah, running that. good, but th this is like where I feel most comfortable. So. Definitely There's right not a lot of fun cards. He's just stuck with this. The tight fold plays that you've been doing all the time. And the ace of so spades is out of the There were a lot now. of good cards other than the ace or an eight. Ace of spades is no help. He needs an ace I can bury Greenstein here. I've done it before. Oh, uh, that looked like you might have had it. Oh, you're really zoned That's 395. That's why I didn't want to call. You know, I'm a post flop guy, like you said. I don't yeah, like I mean, to do like, this. Yeah, like, he, I get it. I get it. Stuff. I'm a post flop guy too. <laughs> I've played with Daniel Cates a few times online. This is the first time playing with him live. He's very good, but I think in this format, he applies some stuff that he knows in cash to this, which I think doesn't always apply correctly. I've seen some of the stuff on the Premier League, very interesting, like kind of seems a little out there, a little, you know, so smart, great player, but just, I don't know if this format will fit him, how it's going to suit him. And I know he's liable to do some, some just quirky stuff, so uh, I think he's kind of a wild card. and. Uh, Look forward to playing with him.
The Playground Poker Club is our host for Premier League Season 7, and as always, this popular oh. venue is buzzing with action as the record-setting WPP Montreal is in progress. 55,000. I think historically, these seats have usually gone to the 15, 30, or even 20, 40,000 level. Up and under reader, please. I mean, Gross is really hoping that these guys just have some sort of Check. Check. They have like the same stack. Check. 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 Wow. Check on that. Wow, look at that. Super nuts. One thing about the juggleman is, you know, if he airballs something and you give him enough rope, he will hang himself. Yes. Like, he has definitely shown that propensity, hasn't he? Yeah. And he loves it. And there is a great sort of pattern here. I would only fly here for sure every day of the week. It's, it's, Call? You're not worried about anything, even the flush. How often does the jungle then barrel the river here? Uh, a decent amount. Check a bit. The jungle has heart. He can't help 85. himself. 85,000. Now the raise. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you, 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 <laughs> like. you forgot the eye roll, the curse. <laughs> So it's a question of how much can I get called? How, you know, I don't think he's going to put in more than a 170, 200 range. Probably like 250. He, he probably wants to raise an amount where he can give the jungleman enough rope to perhaps, you know, yeah. get really weird. Right, like make it like raise 95 or some near minimum raise. It's pretty sweet to sit, be sitting there with the stone cold nuts on the river, of course. When you have nine Please. high, that's never any fun. When you're that's, kind of, that's the kind of flop I wanted. Bluffs? On the ace eight to king queen. Could be the bluff right there. That oh, could be the bluff. Why would I do that? Huh? Why would I do 250. that? 250. I play on a poker. Nice poker over here. <laughs> That's the board we needed for the AC. Great stuff from Dan Coleman. Sweat. I mean, he really card. managed to eke out. You know, a lot of guys would have just, I guess, bet that flop. He managed to eke out Open over 125,000. Like, oh, I don't think it's good. Just it's time to raise. And for what it's worth, Jungle could never have won that. If you what see that, I think I'm a small boy. I, I think oh. that's going to get called, even though it's just two unders. But the gutter uh, ball plus the one. freeze him. He can have anything. You had a really good king, right? That is. He's kind I, of strong, I these shit. guys, Dan I had something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy I don't know. I, I was, you're saying I was the button last game. hand? I had. I wasn't I had, the button last hand, was I? Huh? That's not hey, who's the, who's the big yeah. line? Yeah, I'm sure. I was the big line last hand. You were the big line? Yeah, I was a small line. This is right. I had, you know, I had, I had, like, I had, you know. 24,000. I had two cards. That's the, I, I <laughs> 48. So 48? <laughs> it was a clean range from a small blind, though. It wasn't some air type. Huh? It was a clean range oh, from a yeah. small blind. That's right. It was a clean range from a small blind. It was clean. It was a clean range from a small blind. It was a clean off. from a small blind. It was a clean range from a I guess I'll tell you because you've been telling me. It may have been a little bit dirty. It may have oh. been what? It may have been dirty. I thought so. Coleman folded the ace nine the last Fold, round. Now he folds to the, the ace two. He's now folded the ace two. He just deuce. wants position. He's decided I'll play my buttons and my big blinds. But to hell with the small blind. Kind of At least until like a good internet player. By the way, JG can't. He, he, no, don't, 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 don't do this to me. And maybe maybe part of his oh, reasoning flaw. Uh, just like good, 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 good. I thought you were the uh, post flop guy. Yeah, versus most people, but not you. <laughs> and out of position. Is I mean, every time he falls in the small blind, my, he my, gives my, my gives Jeff Gross an opportunity to uh, to play the pot against the jungle, which is just good for him. Yep. So far, my loss is just like. Okay, well, I think that's it fair. Feels yeah, like JG maybe has refound its footing. That he's two set heats. I feel like a little bit. I mean, I was going to put mine and leave this box if he had folded that ace. I was just going to give up. It's painful for you. I couldn't take it. Seeing live poker. But as long as he's the reason why Ray is, you know, he made that ace eight call. Live poker. That was good. I mean, it didn't work out good, but no matter what happens, going into the second heat tomorrow, Jeff Gross is going to be at least seven points better than Scott Wade. Forty-nine thousand. Yeah. Forty-nine. 
Uh, that was a full? misclick. Jeff Gross will probably what is it? What is it? be committed 49. to this hand. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Coleman is... Um, I think Coleman should defend this. I mean, he's in the he doesn't line, like right? to defend, does he? Isn't he a three betting master? Yes, but now it's Tom. It's just, and you're against a guy that's been playing tighter than the rest, and it's a nice hand. Heads up. Did find the call. Check on that. So set versus gutter ball. Check. Is is JG too strong to bet? I don't think so, because there's straight draws and flush draws out there. It's a little bit wet. The opponent might have a king. I think now's the time before a scare card 50, comes. 2000. And even though Coleman only has a little piece of this flop fill, I mean, I think it's he unlikely call. he's done with the hand. Yeah, right? oh no, he's calling. He could raise, but I think he's just calling. It looks like he's doing a min raise kind of thing. Wow. Raise? Okay. Now the question is, what? No, gross, gross, gross has to raise. I mean, he can't. You can't flat now. It's just. Why is that? Because you don't have enough chips to flat. I mean that obviously. I don't think JG flat. I think he raised. Oh, he's re-raised, and it's a it's a small re-raise. Maybe seven times. Small re-raise. Oh. He's kind of let Coleman wriggle off the hook by by re-raising there. You're giving the guy an opportunity to get away, and he's almost never getting away if you just flat. Jeff Gross is a new face to the Premier League, so we thought we'd find out a little bit more about the High Roller. My name is Jeff Gross. I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan. This year has been a breakout year, with a year ago being here in Montreal exactly. It was ex one year ago where I had that third place finish in a WPT, like 1,200 person field. I feel very comfortable here, and I take seconds and thirds a lot, and fifths, and like, I'm ready to get, get a win. This should be a really good Premier League for me. I'm, I truly believe that, I mean, everyone thinks they're the best probably, you know, in this format, but I really know, like, my sit and go and my ability to, to stay tight and change gears. Um, I think some people have trouble doing that. They just want to play too many pots and are going to get, let their ego come to play. And I have a game plan. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to, like, go into too much detail, but I'm going to be tight at the beginning and loosen it up. This is not how I would a approach a normal multi-tournament. You know, no one's going to be going to be saying, you know, I'm inventing the game right now. But when I get heads up or three-handed, I think you'll, you'll notice a, a dramatic difference in play. I have my strategy. We'll see how it goes. Welcome back. This is the Party Poker Premier League. We have 12 players. Each one plays four times. And in this opening heat, we're down to our final three. Jungleman, Dan Coleman, and Jeff Gross. How will those all-important points be divided? Let's find out. Late you know, night here probably, at the Playground Poker Club. The tournament is done for the day and it's just three-handed in the first heat of Premier League sheet. Poker 7 to remain. You know, they love their poker here in uh, Montreal, Phil. I was just talking with a guy who just bagged up 100,000 in a small tournament. He was as happy as if he was chip leader in the Premier League. And uh, they do was, love poker here. He's very proud about uh, Premier League coming here to Playground Poker Club. 60,000. Uh, there's a lot of guys who are really excited that all the, the top poker players Seat are coming to town. And uh, so they should be. But uh, 15 and 30,000 now, so there's not that many big blinds on the table. Is this an automatic squeeze spot for Jeff Gross? 100%. If he, I mean, it's amazing. I, you know, I'm going home. I mean, I am going home. Nines are not that much different than eights, and we already saw him play the nines very passively in this exact spot. But yep. this being a raised pot, Phil, I mean, it's there's it's so three much money you in have there. Nines. You have, yeah. yeah, there it is. Okay. See two raise. I don't. I think he's just gonna win it. I don't think anyone's queen jack is sick. Raise two. Oh. Two, two hundred thirty thousand total. <laughs> really a serious raise. I got a real hand. If you were bluffing, you're you're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fold anything that good though. And that's how you do it. Okay, thank you, Jeff, because I was going to lose my mind. The bleeding continues. If you played that one too. You know, it's an it's a different dynamic. The raise, and then I, I mean, he had a, he came in for free essentially with those eights. Here, he didn't he didn't have the opportunity to come in for free. He had to come in by committing chips. So he decided, well, if you're forcing me to commit, I'll put in Not more. Good. Not good. Gross at exactly a million. Like the first it. time he's been at you know, five K in the Millionaires uh, Club. Five K you could still see uh, Vanessa Selp's portrait in the really background there of the table. She'll be playing in heat number two. I was actually thinking about that. Uh, what? 
I and think like if you've talked to a lot of like, people uh, before this Premier League began, asked, they like, certainly well, made her you, one of, or, uh, if not what do you the think, favorite what do you think this your uh, Premier League. Of tournament are? She's, uh, uh, and they she's in very like, good form. Well, Fold. You know, I'm pretty sure it's Destiny, so... <laughs> I'm gonna win. <laughs> your option. <laughs> Check. Check. He'll always laugh at his you own know, like jokes. In, like, have you ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh? No. Well, when uh, when ball. when the big shot guy who, who's like really famous, uh, he's asked when people ask him what uh, what seat seven bet forty thousand. Why? How he knows he's gonna win, or like what his advice is to newbies? He says like, well, you know, I got I know I got Dusty on my side, so it doesn't. Matter. <laughs> 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 is that a funny story? I mean, what kind of advice is that? Wow, C5 uh, check. Bets with Air picks up a straight draw against the gutter ball draw. And so you have to barrel this now, right? I think so. Because if you were against Ace 3 or something, that fellow's going to fold because he didn't collect. Seat 7 uh, bet 100,000. He didn't know what. He could be giving me the bluff. <laughs> could be the bluff. Okay, I'm going to just fold flop. <laughs> Once you talk, I think you're bluffing, you're, you're, you're trapped. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman is, he is treating this stage of the tournament like, you know, he's winding down and it's now, you know, when we you, when you play uh, one, two, no limit holds with your friends just to have a so few beers to before people. you go to huh? bed. So I give stock tips to people. And I, I think a lot oh, of it is yeah. just, just oh, sort of the gentleman's yeah. feeling <laughs> that <laughs> like 20 <laughs> big blind poker <laughs> is in his mind not this real this poker. And for Daniel Coleman, this this is the only poker he knows. So messed up. You know what I mean? This is real, but this is a special. You know, there's one thing you have to say about Jeff Gross. I mean, besides he plays two times. Why can he stay? Well, he's been committed to this strategy, and it's working. And he's not wavering. He's not I mean, wavering. He wavered a little bit when he's supposed to. He's, he's only had positive reinforcement on his commitment to this overall strategy of being quite tight. Is he? Is he? Um, five range, six thousand. Been imprinted with the feeling that hey, I need an extra five hand cuff. Coleman's sicker than me, and he'll just re-raise with air. And I gotta have real hands. What if I'm obligated to call he's after your first stars, stars, you first know? Just when, yeah, when you're doing a ladder to the stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, ladder to the stars. <laughs> and, you know, and then back that up check, with a healthy check. dose of smashing the flops. Yep, he has done that. <laughs> Can John call bet, here? He's got a, a fair enough strong hand. I mean, I, I wouldn't surprise me if he just calls. He has a jack for a straight, and King High might be good, but against JG, is it good? Uh, probably not. Calls. But against your average player, it might be right. good. Right, I mean, know? he's actually calling not just for the straight, but he, for the for the value of King High, right? right? Uh, against your average player, it might be good, but not if JG fires again, it's never good. I mean, JG hasn't bluffed the tournament yet, has he? Has he bluffed? C2 check? I, I, I don't think that was a great check, because if... No. I mean, I mean, if the Queen's gentleman... getting called, I, I think... Right. Although, <laughs> look at this. Ken... Can Jungle, is, no, is jungle, jungle feel like he has to turn his hand into a bluff? He but might feel that, and JG knows that Jungle loves because if no. I mean, I mean, the if the Jungle gets called, I, I right. Think, although, <laughs> look at this. He got Jungle on the he's hook. He's got him. It. He's getting it. He's he got getting, him on the hook. He's. I'll tell you this. JG's doing a lot of stuff right to make up for some wow. of that tight stuff he's doing. He's just okay. Put it in. Put it in, kid. Put Jungle him. saying to himself, nobody would check three aces there. Six five bet one hundred and four. Nobody thousand. would check three aces there. For some reason I had you on like Jack Nine. One oh four. He's calling, he's just giving the pre cries. <laughs> oh, How's this happen? <laughs> How does this happen? <laughs> oh my god. No. You had kings? You had kings. No. <laughs> Quote. King this isn't fair anymore. If show you want him to show his hand, hand, then don't call. Oh, don't tell him what you have. What was it? Wait till he turns his hand. King high. King yeah. high. At least he's still How did Ashley go? Bet the flop. You call. <laughs> it was really so good to be tough for gentlemen to have kings. I there. checked back the flop. <laughs> I called. He bet the turn, then he checked called the river. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just like, oh, I've got a king high, but you know, I don't know if I win, so I bet. Because I, I think he might fold, and then You're bam, the like trips. I need your anti <laughs> huh? That is the You're summary. Blind, I mean, <laughs> but doing better right. job than us, so I'm not just let him say it. Pretty yeah. much what yeah. happened. 
Seat seven rate sixty thousand. That's, that's a huge yeah, hit. Yeah, this is sixty thousand. Super monster. One more. Look at those stacks in front of Jeff Gross. Oh, yeah, everything is good it. in Grossville. What? Yep. Full. I don't know. I'm starting to think you got to play tight like JG. It's just showing it's how it's done. Seed five call. But yeah. he, he did uh -oh. get maximum value at a, a lot of jungle oh, confrontations slug, yeah. JG had. He did uh, extricate the maximum five, by, check. you know, Seat checking seven, his check. big hands and deucing the bluffs. Uh, there's no question about it. I mean, that's where he's picked up tons and tons of chips, Phil. Five, and, uh, you know, the Seat jungleman's seven, laughing, but there is a certain amount of frustration there that he, he is getting sort of outduked. And jungle now the jungle like, feels like he's been punched too many times. He wants to bet here. He feels like he can maybe steal it, but I think he's just... 65. Seat 5 bet 65. This is really 000. hard to call for value. I mean, He's got a lot of heart, Jungleman. You know, he does. He's, he's, been, he's, he's been on the mat getting punched, and he's still, you know... This would show real brilliance if we can find a call here, but I don't... It's... it's can you just call him? And you're just beating straight air. Some of the bluffs... You can't even beat some bluffs, you know? <laughs> like, well, what is he taking out of Jungleman's range here? Can it not really be a queen or a jack or an eight? Does it have to be sort of a six, a three? Well, it can't really what be if, a three, can Could it? Coleman actually feasibly say, I'm going to take my hand and raise with it? Because I think I'm winning, but I, since he, you know what I'm saying? He smells something. Maybe he makes it like 160. He does not want to pass. Wow. He does not want to pass. He's saying to himself, what combination of cards can I possibly be? And yet, something smells wrong. He's a good player. Wow, this guy's call. good. Okay, Jungleman, you have Six. now Met your been match. owned. <laughs> <laughs> you have now been owned. You have an eight? No. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> uh, I so. The eight was for sure good. Wow, that was a good call by the ace nine. Coleman is good. That Coleman was is super. Good. He felt he was so winning. <laughs> so silly. That was really a star call because he couldn't even beat some bluffs. My name is Dan Coleman. I'm from outside Boston, Massachusetts. I always had a propensity to gamble growing up, whether it was gambling for baseball cards, playing blackjack with friends video games for money, just always like to gamble, so kind of got naturally drawn to poker. I don't think I had a natural ability for the game. I first started just, it was gambling, you know? It was just fun, but then as soon as I found online poker, I realized that some people were winning, and I want to know how they were winning, so I looked into that, and I just kept trying to work to get better and better, until eventually I became a winning player. My main game is Hyper Turbo Heads Up Singles. You don't have that big of swings playing them. They're relatively small buy-in, but with all the action, you really get to put it, you really get a lot of volume, so you can make a lot of money in them. This is my first big TV tournament. It's, I'm a bit out of my comfort zone. You know, there's bright lights, you're playing on a poker table that's not, it's not your normal poker table. But at the same time, I feel very confident when it comes to playing poker. I feel very confident in my ability, so it's not gonna change my game at all. The yeah. jungleman has You're not really cash, done you know, that like, well like post-flop. He hasn't. Oh, no. He really hasn't. I mean, he's actually, he's made a hash of a, a lot of hands. people take like, most different lines in tournaments. His you know? big hands, he huh? hasn't people gotten maximum value at. And yeah, he's been true. caught out bluffing Seat five, nearly every time. Them. I don't know if this has been a shining shining call. moment in the jungle. Seat seven call. Oh, that's really bad. You have any overs? Oh, wow. Your pre-flop game's strong, though. Your pre-flop game's strong, though. actually a show. I think it's close. <laughs> I need the card. Wow, 6%? Does he really have that much of a chance? Is that a bad shot for you, Yeah. It is? Yeah. It can't be right. <laughs> Undoubtedly. <laughs> wow, that's a super... Oh, uh, I'm not saying you sign for it. I super think, good flop not. for Coleman. Uh -huh. I said, I mean, it's I mean, actually, I think he can only yeah. suffer a chop a if a yeah, queen a flops off suit queen comes. <laughs> it's the only way he can chop. first, I was hoping that you didn't have the Basically, three outs. Yeah, I think it's a little bit four, too much. Four. Jack four that had to be like the exact blinds. four four. The oh, four right, yeah. clubs and the four cards. Yeah, yeah, right. But uh, How, what's the cutoff for Jack four off? I think like five point five or something. Really? Wow, I didn't realize it's that big. But I'm not sure with antis. It might be a little bit more. Yeah. And that's covered one two. So they're saying if you have five and a half big blinds without antis, yeah, you can shove Jack four. But with a, play good. Eleven man. big blinds, you can't. 
I think so. Yeah. Turn, yeah. You I turn the one out in the third. Nine points. Runner up in yeah. season yeah. five, final <laughs> table in season six, and off to a fairly decent start now in season seven. Find out who takes down maximum points after the break. So that's that. I feel like that's that. Is there, yeah, that is that. That is the. We're in Montreal, Canada at the Playground Poker Club for Premier League Season 7, where we're heads up. Before the break, we lost Daniel Jungleman Cates, who takes a respectable nine points from Heat 1. Who will take the maximum, though? Jeff Gross or Dan Coleman? It's time to find out. This is it. Our so what, final like two heads up for 14 points in Heat 1. Eight. Looking at the stats, they're both evenly matched. Both have been aggressive, Coleman attempting a few more steals, and has taken down a few more pots. But with a stack so close, it's a tough one to call. Blinds are 15 and 30,000 with no antis, and I, I think if someone has an edge here, then it's Coleman, raise, who is a hyper-turbo heads-up specialist. This is his bread and butter. But also, Gross has definitely switched gears since going three-handed, and definitely understands the strategy needed to take down a heat in this format. Head to head now. Two you know, call. 14 points or 11 points in the league table. And uh, Jeff Gross will open up his game, but he's really in Dan Coleman's living room. I mean, Dan really Coleman. Um, I don't know. If you're first to act with this kind of monster, I don't bet. I let the see better genius do it. Or is he second act? 55,000. He was first act. I would have. I would have checked. Yeah. Either check call or check raise, but I, I it's just too big a hand to bet out. No Annie's there. I guess no the, there no is some Annie's argument as to whether so Dan well. Coleman is the best in the world right now at this exact format, but uh, he's certainly um, one I'm of just wait till we're done, the but best yeah, in I mean, the world whenever at this format. format. I mean, you're not going to be flopping media. top pair with a straight draw very often. You just aren't. So generally, the the strategy for Jeff Gross is you know you're up against a hyper aggressive guy. Let's uh, let's hit flops, then let him attack you. A little bit, at least get to yeah, a little bit. I mean, it isn't traditionally when you find yourself 000. heads up against a guy who you think might be slightly better than you, you try and maybe make the pots a little bit bigger. Don't let him play small pot poker, or you know, well, that's try and flop. But on the flop, when you flop the world and the guy loves to bet, you let you know. This is something Coleman was doing a. The junk seat three seven bets, re you know. And by the way, this is a big test for Jeff. I mean, he really he did it. He, he, I think he just said I'm okay. Because he didn't he just say I'm all in or something. What did he say? Or is he thinking? He's got a bad gum game. I don't like his bubble gum game. It's weak. But I mean, this is the kind of hand that he, he needs to. He needs. He not needs back to see this with. as pocket queens. When you're playing heads up, you got to look at a six of spades and feel like, wow, I have two queens. Now, let's try and get some money in. Now he's an opportunity to do it. Between, between calling, re-raising, and folding, which is the one thing he shouldn't do? Is he shouldn't fold. He should not fold. So you don't mind peeling here? I'd probably raise 65% well, and peel 35. It, I don't know. It does I mean. feel, Phil, that if he does pass this hand, then Coleman is going to take that as a sign that he can just eat him alive. I mean, Gross right. may never see a flop again. He, he, he may never get a chance. He's raising. I mean, he's definitely going to raise. 340. Right? C2 re raised 340. And that's total. a good sign. Full. That is a good sign it. for Jeff Gross. He has, I love he it. has to be aggressive. He had me scared hands. there for a second. He did yeah. have me scared because yeah, some of his other times. And the idea, yeah. Phil, right? I mean, I mean with the suited ace, yeah, it's actually you know, you're it's just your heads up. Like yeah, you're never, you're heads up. never too far out. And has big offices. And by the way, it's not. Just because you raise, it come back. it's actually one of, probably one of the you best places to buy so real estate and stuff right now. Like like you can get like with that, JG's at like one point three to like practically areas, one. But yeah. It also can can that but, uh, kind of maybe what happened though? A so I heard something like missing like add a bunch of jobs, but it's all jobs in Ohio. That you know, you don't really create jobs anymore. Maybe Jeff has just completely opened up. I mean, maybe. To yeah, I guess it's true. I mean, Detroit's just so bad. This is something a lot of the better live players do. If, if they're not you know, completely happy know, with, my good buddies with how there. things are I'm going, not really they, sure what the deal they want to get their, get their opponent talking a little bit because yep. they feel Seven like he'll check. play more he's, predict more. He's less li likely to, to make a big bluff yeah. if they've got him talking about C2 Detroit. C2 bet 45,000. Yep. I mean, the percentage of people who will bluff while having a conversation about call. Detroit's economy, it's... It's less than 4, 14%, that's for <laughs> it's sure. It's pretty low. 
You can rely on a guy who's talking about Detroit. This is good. Gross is extracting some value with his real hand. He has a pair, and uh, this is you know it's going to be hard for an you know queen nine ace nine. You're going to get some thin calls here if you can bet, make this bet. Yeah, I mean it would feel really weird for Coleman to show up with a hand that that has a jack ten beat here. I mean it's, right. it has to be in has to be a hand that maybe the seven helps. Maybe even too bad, yeah. sixty thousand. And he's put Coleman in a tough spot now. Yep. This is good for heads up poker because if Coleman you falls. You always have here, a jack here. Look at that. Uh, at least I know you're not raising, that's good. Don't yeah. talk to him in a hand. You don't look like you don't look like one of those guys. No. That was the whole thing and then. No, I never do that. Look at how he's finding out that JG is comfortable in the hand. I, I don't think JG should have said anything. Uh, Fold. Should probably call. Ace high is not good. You read that right. Uh, I had a pair. Just don't. Just. I mean, I love talking, but during hands, I, I don't. I just don't talk. There's too many wizards out there. His. His. Uh. I wonder if Phil's still here doing commentary. He probably went. Yeah, right. I was thinking that. He, he loves it. It'd be a it, marathon though. session. He loves it. Yeah, I mean, he just likes watch it. Yeah. It's fun. I, I've never, I mean, I've done, I've never done it for this, but yeah. I've listened to it. It looks fun. You get to watch how everyone's playing. And then yeah, yeah, you get to win thousands and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to probably do it fun. tomorrow. Just for a little. Uh, 40,000, sorry. Especially 20, fun when it's the Premier League. Yep. It's educational for sure. Raise. And you really learn something. You learn how hard it is for your average player to get 80, out of their pattern. When people have their patterns, they stick with them often enough. Yeah, and under pressure, people fall back into them, don't they? It's really, it's really hard to get out of the box. Check a bit. Check. Oh, how much would you love to see a check raise here by Gross? Although it, it would be fishy, wouldn't he? Because he would never have an ace in the spot. Or would he? Uh, could he ever 60, have an ace in the spot? I don't know, he could, yeah. I mean, even just flatting is fairly, like, Call. that looks fairly strong, doesn't it? looks it? really strong. You, as, as long as you're gonna fire when you get some checks on the next cards. Oh, Check when you have the nuts, it's easy too. <laughs> Check. But it's not you know, a bad If a queen way came there. and Coleman was checking, is, is Check. Gross gonna fire? That's the 10 push. for the money, baby. Check a bet. I'm glad he called. I'm glad he played this hand at least. Um, Coleman doesn't play around. I think he's already folded, right? Yeah. 130. Yeah, and you, you know, I just feel like the more this this goes on, with is that Gross is taking down pots mm -hmm. and not showing his hand, mm -hmm. will Coleman start to think I'm being uh, shimmy shammy? Yeah, and you it's know, really always might, value hands, you know, but yeah, he might crack. No, he's not going to crack. He just might widen his uh, calling range against Jeff. Right. You don't. These guys don't crack really. Not when you've won a They million. just widen and tighten their ranges. Yeah. Really. <laughs> That's about all you can get from them. Just a little bigger hole. There we go. Raise eighty thousand. And now, being that it's the first pot he's raised, raised from, the, from button. the button. Call. I mean. You know, and this Coleman is, is just handcuffed. You, you cannot three bet a guy. That's holding that off. No, you can't. You just call for value now. He has so, a value hand know, anyway. I, I wonder Check if there is a method to his madness. Check. I mean, he's kind of taken the three bet away from Coleman in a sense. Yep, by his by his tightened range. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's genius, Phil. Maybe you're not thinking outside the box enough. Here's his first bluff that I've, I I remember during the 000. tournament. And it's a perfect wet board to get to to do it. I mean, is this going to be a? Ah, this is strong. Uh, I'm just doing it, kind of raise. Yeah. It is. Wow. This it's is like strong. this is. I know raise. it's the perfect place for you to steal, so I'm going to re-steal. That was good, and and that that's how he's going to stay in this match, isn't it? Pretty indefensible. Yep. 
your opponent oh. has to wake up with the uh, mm. almost nice. forces him to be in the top of his range or to make a demon read. And I, I, that is really one of the secrets to this this sort of format is understanding that. By the way, that hand took them even, one point right. two each. Now, you know. Raised to 80,000. Oh. Just put the drum pads on. Yep. Got the blinders. So now Gross will act first. Let's see what he gets. A gutter ball Check and... I like to think of this as two over cards. Ascent effectively. Check. Heads up, I like to wash away the top card and see how I feel about my hand. So this is a pretty good hand. Now he has a flush draw to go with his queen and his gutter ball straight draw. Check. It's not going anywhere. Check. But look at this. Coleman just knows. Coleman knows that's in his range. He only, you know. And <laughs> boom. Straight. <laughs> it just got better and better. The fluff was okay. The turn was better. The jack was, come on. Come on. What do you think? Sixty-five thousand. It's, Coleman will correctly fold, it's just too much in his wheelhouse. He raised, fold. the guy's folding all over the, you know. Yeah. But it really, it really had to be a 10 or nothing at that stage. Mm -hmm. Why do I have a feeling that this lunky, weird style is going to win this tournament? Uh, oh, it is. Oh, he's favorite right now, for sure. And Coleman hasn't, hasn't uh, exploded yet, but I wonder if we're going to see that. I mean, we don't. We just know his reputation and the fact that he seemed like a very easygoing, pleasant guy. But Raised does he have does he have a, a line? Will he explode? Will he, he tilt? He has a good hand here. It's king seven. I oh. guess he's just gonna flat. If a king comes, he's toast. Check hmm. a bet. Now they've both missed. Check. And that kind of evens the scores now because Coleman's so very liable Check. to get busy. Check a bet. Does he have the king of hearts? He does. Check. Check. I, I might have bet my ace king just to defend against straight Check hearts getting there. I knew it was oh, coming. Wow. I nice. knew it was coming. Now, I guess depending on how big this is, that's that's a big enough bet that just you can only call. call yeah, he's right. just calling. 120. King, ace kicker. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. That hurt. He just he just took a shot of whiskey there to the face. Wow. He grimaced. That was a big grimace. Could not keep that off the face. He is now, he's reeling. He is now reeling. He now realizes that defeat is in his grasp. I do believe we are nearing 40, the bewitching hour here at Premier League Poker 7. Well, I think this is the hand. Raised to 80,000. Oh, he's only got 15 big blinds. I mean, he's he's looking for He's he's got a shove with a lot 12. of hands here. This is a good flop for tens, effectively. I mean, you can't really worry about that top card. It, it does hurt him this time, but. And he's going for the lead out. Mm -hmm. It makes. One hundred thousand. I, mean, I don't think Jeff can fold. I just don't think it's a fold. You can maybe fold the turn if more aggression comes in, but. Right, and I mean, you know, Gross won't have a hard time convincing himself that. The one thing that Coleman's unlikely to have here is a queen, right? I mean, yeah. looks like it could be a, a nine or a six, and there's a lot of draws out there that it could be. I mean, I mean, he could just be leading with king nine. See yeah. where he's at. I, I, I feel like he's going to stack off here. You can't, you can't really blame him, him can yeah, you? Yeah, that seems like a reasonable play. Oh, wow. Look at this. Coleman might ha ha find a way to fold this. Wow, he doesn't like it. Wow. 
He doesn't like it. Of course you don't like it. When a guy like JG is doing this to you, you don't like it. You really can't ever fold here. Right. The math's got him. Too exploitable. Too exploitable. Nicole. The oh, math's got him. Show? No, I have a queen. Show cards? It was interesting in this line <laughs> of history. He says it's too exploitable, <laughs> even though it's, they're just playing a few. <laughs> yeah. Back doors galore. Yeah, I was crossed my mind. Here he disguised, we go. He disguised the strength by betting out. There's a straight draw. I mean, where's a clean the jack straight of draw. diamonds? Like, is this even real? Yeah, kind of rigged there. Wow, there's. I'll take that. There's ten cards. outs. Yeah. There's ten full outs yeah, to victory. The world is there. Oof. He didn't get it. He had the world. He didn't Much get it. And look at that. Wow, the tides have turned. It's now 1.5 million or so to about one to about 900,000. And it is. it's not just the tide, Phil Lock. It's the momentum. Yeah. I mean, Jeff Gross will feel like that was his chance. How yeah. could I lose with pocket tens? That was me. Wow, now the master of heads up. Here we go. Oh, this is I'll one see. of the top levels. 211 hands deep. The blinds have gone up every 21 hands. They're at 30, 60. Posturing, obviously, we know JG's never playing 7 9. Yeah, this would be strong. I mean, Coleman's just limped here. Oh, Antonio, oh, it was a limp. Is Phil yeah. still here? Yeah. Really? <laughs> he loves poker. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. That's right Check. About that. He gets to see the whole cards all the time, too. Check a bit. It's pair versus pair. Check. Gross trying to make two pair or three of a kind. It's sort of a tricky check back there on the flop by Coleman. Yeah. 90,000. Fairly confident his eight is good. And Jeff in an uncomfortable spot. Call. And every reason to be expecting that uh, this, by the way, Check. I mean, Cole, Coleman is never value betting. I don't think he's because I, I feel he, like, yeah, I feel like he's value betting or is he turning his I mean, that's a that's a wow. Big that feels man. like is a river if like I've ever seen one in my seven, life. Nice, yeah. okay. 200,000. Huh. I, I would have checked to see if my hand was good there. Nice, nice. I guess he might get called by Ace Five. I guess for whatever reason, Phil. I mean, it was, oh, he, was he made a decision very quickly to make a big bet. Yeah, so he must have. He must have felt that JG had some that could call but not be. Put him exactly that where couldn't he couldn't be was. an eight. I mean, what were those hands? Like? I don't know. Welcome back to Playground Poker Club. A heads-up battle is going on between Dan Coleman and Jeff Gross. As the players take a break, we'll look back at a classic heads-up match between J.C. Tran and Phil Helmuth in Season 3. Yeah, Phil's, Phil's in a war here. He's in a... Call. He needs the power of the poker brat. No raise. Deathly silent out there. Wow, they're concentrating. And uh, Helmut's got the pair. Check. 15,000. Yeah, Jesse might take a card off here. He might think, well. Raised to 30,000. Wow. Oh. This may be his first misstep here, unless he gets real lucky and hits three. I mean, Phil's been pretty relentless about limping on the button and then checking the flop no matter what. So he, he's entitled to get some action when he flops something sooner or later, right? But he's, it's still not a huge hand. Well, the only thing is if Tran really follows through here, you'd have to probably bet both streets. 35,000. Call. Oh, yeah. the quick call! And I mean, how would... Helmut thinks he's got the best. He's trying to talk JC out of bluff in the river, isn't he? Absolutely, yeah. He doesn't want JC to do oh, it. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, that'll give uh, JC enough to check. He's, no. Unless he bets 100,000, he's no chance of winning this hand. All in. All in. Oh, my God! Now, this would be the call of the Premier League, yeah? 
This would be some kind of special call if he musters it. <laughs> and, I mean, Phil Helmuth would tell you that he is the only one in the world capable of making this call. Is there any kind of logical argument for it, Andy? Is it... Well, he's seriously thinking about it. You've got to give him credit for that, even if he folds. I mean, has JC just made a really brave bet here or a potential misstep? I don't know. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> Helmuth knows that he can only beat a bluff. He can, it's like JC has to have been bluffing the whole time. The flush has come. There was an ace up there. He has to have had nothing at all stages. Otherwise, Phil Helmuth I mean, will not win. Aren't there even some hands that... JC could be bluffing with that hell with can't beat? No, no. Uh, you know, if he had an eight or something like that with a better kicker, he wouldn't bet it. So, so it has to be a bluff all the way. Call. No! Wow, what a great call! This is through, homie. I got nothing. JC this had to test him, didn't he? He had to see if he wow. really, yeah, if if he really was Phil Helmut. Right 90. I felt you were weak. I thought he was going to move you off. Wow, worship to the like god, worship to I mean, the god. Club hit, it was a real tough call. Actually, I have 132. Oh, how happy is he now? Tell Good him who you are, Phil. Thanks. I mean, I just, but the flesh hit too, so I just, wow. I, I don't know. Uh, well, that that really is the play of the Premier League. No, we both knew the other guy was weak. That is the play of the Premier League. Phil Hammond, My instincts you are wouldn't let me fold. I tried to fold three times. You have good instincts. My instincts said if you fold, you lose. So let's get back to the action in season seven. The winner of this heads-up battle will go top of the league here in Montreal, and Coleman oh, currently it. holds the chip lead. Go all in, Gross. Do it. Check. I don't know if 120 out there. Check. King eight. Check on that. No problem. Two pair. Check. <laughs> Check. Against the gutter ball straight draw. Bam. Check on that. Now what's going on? They all have a club. 60 minimum. Coleman has a higher club. 60,000. Coleman can't go anywhere. Call. Coleman has basically a 10 or a club, but a 10 would really cinch it. Check on that. Oh, full house. Now, is this one of those spots where you can check? Maybe because you're so big, you want the guy to blitz. I don't know, maybe like, I think I'd still bet hoping he has a queen. You're getting called by a queen probably. 95,000. But I like that he bet smallish. And the reason is the reason oh. Coleman's stick now, it doesn't make sense because the eight right. fee should have been a card that scared him. But the thing is, he knows JG is a loss. Wow, he called with the jack high. He really Full did. House? He yeah. absolutely did. Wow. He called him light. That was super light. He called him light to dinner. It is, I mean, I thought so. Probably close to even now. He does, he does not mind taking a, a strong view. Nice, Dan got some green in the back. It's amazing, 4 a.m. So they've been playing for what, 12 hours? Is this a break or no? Or we're not well, taking no, breaks? It's around probably 6, so it's been around uh, yeah. 10 no, hours of straight play. I prefer not to take a break. Okay, this is total. effectively aces. King 8, let's see what happens. <laughs> there it is, raise. Raise? Yeah, the blinds will be. Uh, 40, 80, both there. 120,000. King four, this is oh. like pocket aces too. What he's playing is, they're shallow right now. Check on bet. Wow. Check. And for Coleman, this has to be, this has to be worth everything. Check. Check on bet. Check. He's trying to get there for free. I, I just bet the king ain't for value here too often. You know, you don't want a hand like, you know, nine jack just to get the free. You, you have to defend. You probably have the best hand. You do have the best hand, but so what's Coleman's plan now? It feels very weak to call. Do you think he might find a raise here? Or does that look fishy? Is it hard to represent a three? Here? I think against Jeff, he doesn't like inflating the pots too much. Call. Tell you what, if this 
if this blanks out and it goes check check, Coleman's going to be a sick check puppy. But it didn't, and wow, it has it not go blank. Now, yeah, he check. goes for a check. This is JG going to fire at it? Tough hand for him to represent. I mean, yeah. It, 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 After it, he gets it, cold, it's kind of like, well. Feels like he would have bet the four in the flop and checked the turn. That would have been more. Wouldn't that have made more sense than to check the flop and bet the turn? I was hoping he had like jack nine of clubs, but I don't think I can beat anything. Check. Check. Uh, I have a straight. That was straight. I kind of like that check. I mean, he has enough showdown value, too. Yeah. Oddly, not really, but kind of, you know. 232 hands this has played to be in this record. Premier League poker first heat. When we started this heat, like first heat of Premier League poker King seven, be a hero, like. the room was just filling up. They've all been here, played a tournament, and gone. And the Premier League still carries on. Just two gladiators Six, left. Seven raise, 160 total. 160 total. Two Premier League debutantes, Dan Coleman and Jeff Gross. And uh, obviously early indications here are that we're going to be seeing lots of both of these guys in the Premier League drama to come. I might jam the Queen Jack of Diamonds here. All in? Okay. I see two raise all in. I felt in. like you had a good hand. All in call. I don't have that good of a hand. It's Quick kind call. of a race, look Too at this. Pretty. And we are yeah, racing. It's like a flip. Ugh. Good luck, either way. Of course, Dan Coleman does have the chip lead those here. Are, those are two he has hands. about yeah, right. twice as many chips ones. as Jeff Gross. So it'll be ah. roll reversal if Gross can double up. Yep. If the you ace have to double holds, check for the aces there, the we're going to have no. our first heat winner and a result in the first match of Premier League Poker Season 7. And that's oh, wow. a good what a flop monster for the flop Queen over Jack. Card. That's such a pretty draw. Hand, you know? Everything yeah, in the world. This feels like almost too many out syndromes, but I got a lot of... I wonder if you had like 10 clubs. Five of uh, diamonds right away. So that's that. I feel wow. like that's that. Is there, yeah. That, that is that. That is that. that. Just in case. In case. The kid who played tighter than anyone has ever played ever. Is now Listen. sitting on 1.7 million. The most chips he's had the whole time. Coleman can't figure it out. Variance, he's thinking. There's Variance. more than one way to skin a cat, yeah. That is, surely that's a shove to eight big blinds. Surely it is. Yeah. See there two he goes. All in. He's got it. First card is good. Hmm. You gotta go with it, don't you? I mean, well, I think he so knows close. for sure. I certainly don't. So close. There's only one guy who's not a big fan of the King Three. JG, JG folded a few, three or four times. I honestly don't don't know if this is a call or not, Phil. I I, I think this is on the chart. Man. I would call. He probably thinks on the chart it's a call. I look at that heads and up and I just think I have aces. I don't know. Am I crazy? I'm way too loose. I guess heads up. Okay. Seat seven call. Very and good. Phil, if if you asked Dan Coleman why he called there, would he probably say it's? Too God, give him a king three fold. off. He just mucks it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It's a fair fight. Yeah, right. I think it is. All these hands, just, everything's a race. You know, just get your money and impress. The nine eight holds in Montreal. That's a, a pretty good yeah. flop for nine eight. Yeah, I mean, yeah, now he has a seven. Seven eight or nine. I will have outs going to the river no matter what. There. Oh hi. JG. What a what a card. No, flush is there too. Wow. Just pick the action card, one or two action cards in the deck. So basically we need to see a king or a diamond. And we don't see it. The blank and for hit. Jeff Gross. The tightest player I've ever seen play one of these oh, Premier man. Leagues wins it. This is a, the tight is right it. theorem coming to you. I told you, you get Phil, he came, he so. saw, <laughs> nice. he did the deed. And right nice now girl. Jeff Gross I only get like six and sevens of the Premier <laughs> League. Wow. So it is a win and 14 points going forward.
first time here in the Premier League, so it's a pretty good start, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's uh, just how I drew it up, and I have my own strategy, and I'm sure uh, I, I really look forward to watching a lot of the hands. I just, you know, I've watched the last season and kind of studied and, and had a game plan coming in. But, uh, but yeah, this is different than normal poker. I mean, this is a this is a it's a fun format. It's a blast. A lot of great players, and the points are important. And uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to my plan. I think that's what it's going to take to get it done. So mm -hmm. We're looking forward to seeing what you do in the next heat. Thank you. For sure. Thanks a lot. So a reminder of the point so far. Scott Seaver with the bagel at the bottom and Mr. Jeff Gross with the maximum. But with all the players competing four times, there is plenty more action and opportunity to pick up points here at the Premier League. Incredible dynamic set up now by this first heat result. Jeff Gross, league leader, and Phil, I mean, how pumped is he gonna be? He's so pumped, and if he's smart, which he is, he might use his super tight image in the following heats to loosen it up a little bit and steal. Because I'll tell you this, from what I've seen, if he jiggles his chips, I'm done with my <laughs> He's got the license. And on the other hand, guys like Brian Rast, Scott Seaver, they're playing in the next heat. They've got no points. They have no points, they have to get points. The question really comes down to, if you think playing tight is right for those guys, do you think they can do it? Because some of them, they love to gamble so much, I don't know if they can hold back. Well, of course, when that second heat starts, the four Premier League players who haven't played like yourself are gonna be sitting down. So tune in next time to see how those guys do as well. Congratulations to Jeff Gross, who kicks off his Premier League campaign with maximum points. It's been an action-packed start to season seven. Join us next time when Heat 2 begins here at the Party Poker Premier League. Yes, I won one versus Phil. Thanks for calling, buddy. I always level myself against you. And that's really next level collusion right there. I think I should not be nice to you. Sorry, buddy. This is a big one. Oh, that's good. I love it. <laughs>